Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am over the moon to share this package with you today. So you may have heard of Fireside Harps. Um, they are harps made by this cute little company called Backyard Music and they um, make cardboard musical instruments. Um, a lot of it is made of wood. It's basically just the resonating chamber, which is cardboard. Um, and I like cardboard harps. Actually, I have a wearing cardboard harp and it sounds all right. Um, but the fireside harps, they have like the curve in the neck to make the harmonic curve. Um, you can add levers to them. They are really just like a great option if you're a beginner. Um, so I wanted to put one together for a while because they come as a kit. And then I reached out to um, the maker of these fireside harps and I asked him, hey, have you ever thought about making a double strung harp? And he got back to me and he said, in fact, we do make those. <laughs> so I have in front of me a double strung harp kit. It was $390, which um, is a remarkable price for a double strung harp. So let's open it up. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so, so excited. Okay, so start from the top. <laughs> this thing is just packing. Regular cardboard. Here, get it out of here. Uh, right here is the special cardboard. This is our cardboard sound box. Packing, packing. Okay, it's got some stuff in it. So let us see what's inside our sound box. save these because I would imagine they will be useful for building the kit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yay. All right. Here is our bag of supplies. And here we've got, looks like lots and lots of strings. <laughs> Hopefully that's two whole string sets. Oh, wow. Okay. And here we've got a whole bunch of bridge pins, a whole bunch of tuning pins, a whole bunch of eyelets. Um, yeah, basically all the hardware that we're gonna need for the harp. So excited about that. And oh, super detailed instructions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not only are they detailed, but there's pictures of everything. And they also have YouTube videos up to help you along. When I was building my wearing cardboard harp, I like I did a couple things wrong. Um, so it didn't turn out like as nicely as it could have. Um, so I really appreciate the detailed instructions. I think hopefully that will help keep me on the right path this time. <laughs> okay, also in this big old box, we've got, um, this is the, I don't want to call it the soundboard because of course the the cardboard is more of the resonating chamber but this is where the strings are going to attach so sort of like a soundboard it's so interesting that um fireside has gone with um the strings spaced so far apart it's about two inches and that's kind of how reese does their double strung harps um but some makers stony and in particular i know they have theirs, um, they pretty much almost meet in the center. There are two rows of strings. So, interesting. Okay, and then, oh, wow. <laughs> Here is the, um, I guess we call it the pillar and the neck for the double strung. And it looks like what he did was just take, um, two, so like one that you would use on a fireside harp and just glue them together, which is actually brilliant. <laughs> I love that idea. So you basically have um, two of everything. <laughs> so it's going to be um, a little bit wider than your typical fireside harp. Very cool. So there's all the 
holes for the bridge pins and the holes for the tuning pins and all the fun stuff we're going to have to attach once we finish uh, sanding and painting and staining, etc. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the items in the box. Um, <laughs> honestly, right now it looks a bit intimidating. Um, I really want to have this done um, in a reasonable amount of time because I kind of have a theme in mind for this harp and uh, I really want to get it done by the end of June. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm sure going to try. So I'm going to get started on this um, and I'm going to do my very best to get it done before the end of June uh, so you can all see the final product. Um, I am excited. I am slightly intimidated, uh, but we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.